Hey there friends, how's it going? This is your old man Miner, and today we'll be playing episode 12 of Detroit Become Human. So uh, it's been a good experience so far. Uh, my drivers are working really brilliantly and uh, I'm excited to finish this. So let's dive in. Rockin' sounds. My oh, man, LT. Oh. Plastic with you? Reconcile with him? Okay. <laughs> I feel like they're in a breakup or something. Oh man. LT Anderson is a difficult man. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood him? Last shit hot tip he gave me sent me back a week's wages, man. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. <laughs> what are they talking about? Is it drugs or something? What the hell? Okay. What's happening right now? Why am I scanning? Wait, hey. this okay and how about you illegal gambling and fraud okay <laughs> all right I'm in damn straight hey won't regret this I bet he will later What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. Ooh. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. <laughs> Is it cyber life thought everything, huh? You like it though. Yeah. Oh my god, he, he's literally scanning everything. Bingo. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Don't leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? <laughs> it's giving me a topic about cholesterol. Oh my god. This Pedro? I'd rather talk about Pedro guys. illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't understand it. Uh, let's talk about the company. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant. But I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Hmm. Okay. Highway, yeah. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. I, and I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Yeah, let's talk about me, Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. <laughs> well, they fucked up. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Ooh, I thought he's gonna be triggered. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. 
You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt with deviants before? Yeah. That guy who he just killed. A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I'll tell you the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and <laughs> you spend a lot of time in Bronx. Captain Fowler. So what's your conclusion? Uh, sincere, be sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I find that funny that he actually winked. I'll be in the car if you need me. A winking android. Finally. LT is warming up to me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just, just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate. Mm, pigeons. And every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Wish I could do that. <laughs> yeah, knock it down. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit Police! Ooh. Stay behind me. Got it. The vibration in my controller was so much. Pigeons. Uh, tons of them. Jesus, this place stinks. Uh, well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. I don't think so. There's something behind here. Diary? Oh my god, this is... Purely zeros and ones, I guess. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's 
Indecipherable. See? Ah, I see. The deviant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Blue blood, okay. What's this? It's writing a bunch of numbers. Any idea what it means? Nope. RA9. Whoa. Written 2,471 times. Oh my god. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. So now even androids can become obsessive compulsive. Wow. Reconstruct. Okay, suspect was here, right, and then what happened? Oh, okay. Bumped his head, and he ran. Ah, I see. So when he heard us. He just ran away. Probably towards that hole. Where else would he go? Or in here? Did I miss something? Okay. He most likely hit this. He was running away. Yep. And then what? Came there, climbed up. Wait! Ugh. I thought I was it was auto run. Scan what? Wait. Easy but slow. But yeah, I need fast but risky. I want that. Okay, safer right here? Nope. Fast but risky. Ooh! But crowded, yeah, sure. Look out! Wow, action man Connor. <laughs> hey, where should I go? He's on top. Fast but risky. Let's make a run, man. Ooh.
Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> to be hard. I can't see anything. Ooh, LT! Save LT. Oh shit! Oh shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Oh, Connor made a friend. <laughs> That's so cute. Hey, Connor. Nothing. Ah, uh, he was about to say thank you. Come on, LT. I know you got the softies for me. All right, what an episode, guys. Well, uh, I've been really really hoping that I would have a great relationship with this Hank guy well this character is beginning to soften up with uh, my guy here well anyways if you enjoyed this episode well maybe subscribe and yeah say whatever you think about this episode or if you played this game already just comment down below and let me know your thoughts about it and yeah I'll see you around cheers